Welcome brothers and sisters. So for all you uh, sciencey people out there that love the latest developments and things, here's one for you and for me because of the number 2030. China plans to send crewed spacecraft to the moon by 2030. Now they've mentioned this before and we've touched on it before, but they've again put it in the news. The twin rocket plan would overcome China's long-standing technological hurdle of developing a heavy-duty rocket powerful enough to send astronauts and a lander probe. The race to send people to the moon has intensified in recent years with both China and the United States eyeing the potential mineral resources on the moon. Establishing lunar habitats will also help support future crewed missions to other planets such as Mars. Not going to happen. Jesus is coming back. You want to see Mars, get yourself right with Jesus, get a glorified body and go look for yourself with your glorified eyeballs. China still trails the United States in experience and technology. China didn't have movie studios or anything like that. The last NASA crewed landing was in 1972, and U.S. astronauts are expected to return to the moon by 2025. So they're hoping to finally get someone landed on the moon. That's going to spark a lot of debate, this video, but uh, yeah can I say? It's a funny article. The takeaway for me, by the way, out of this whole thing, before anybody even starts with everything, 2030. This is the reason I'm reading it to you. People, 2030. There's still Christians out there and pastors and watchmen that are wondering what the date's going to work out to. The devil himself and his cable and his people in control and the Antichrist in the background, they're all broadcasting to you 2030. Work it out. Historically, go watch the timeline video. 2030, people. Come back seven years. Hello. We're here. Seven years back, 2023, ready to go. Make sure you enjoy your hot chocolate and uh, get your rapture kits ready for the people staying behind and your life right with Jesus Christ and be excited because we have an amazing relationship with him and he loves us. Shalom.